Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, bearings and more specifically drawing. So I've already got a video out there of how to uh, look at bearings when they're not to scale. In this video we're going to have a look at when they're actually to scale and how we measure them and go from there. So a couple of things just to remind ourselves on. When we're dealing with bearings we always start from north. From north we then always go clockwise. We always start from the point where it says from, so that would be more apparent if you look at my other previous video. And again, this one's crucial for this video, bearings are always three figures. So just a little quick reminder as well with bearings, it's all to do with direction. So if we always start with north, we always say that north is at zero, but remember it has to have three figures. So it's zero, 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 that would be the bearing for north. Or I suppose you could also say it's 360 if you go all the way around. Uh, so for east end, 90 degrees, but again, must be three figures. So we actually write 0, 090. For south, it's 180. And then three quarters, so west, will be 270. Okay, so remember, bearings is just all about direction. So let's have a look at some measuring then. So measure the bearing from A. So this is this bit here, starting at the point where it says from. So from A is where I'm starting. So I start at north and I turn clockwise. So north and I'm going clockwise. So that's the angle that I need to work out because that's going to be the bearing. So for this, you're going to need your protractor. Get a little crosshair bit on point A. And because we start at north, line it up with the north arrow, and we're starting at zero. So because we're starting at zero, I'm using the outside of the protractor, not the inside, because the inside starts at 180, the outside starts at zero, and I need to start there. So if I have a look round, and that looks like it's 68. So just a reminder, it's three figures, so it'd be the bearing of zero, six, eight degrees. Okay. Next one is this one here. So again, start from north, go clockwise, and I need to write it in three figures. Okay. Now, starting uh, from A, now, I've missed it off here, but this would be a. So starting from here, north, clockwise. This is what I want to do. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can use your protractor to work out the missing angle here, okay, and then take that away from 360. Absolutely fine to do that, but lots of people make mistakes when doing subtraction. So the other way, and I think it's probably the easier way, but it's entirely up to you, is to draw a little south line on here, like so because we know that south is 180 degrees. So I know from a straight line, going straight down, that's 180 degrees. And then I'll measure what's left. So again, I get my protractor, and you can rotate your sheet around if it helps you, but I'm gonna keep mine where it is purely so you can see it on the, on the video. So line it up with the crosshair again, go straight down. Now this time zero is on the outside, so I'm gonna use it again and go around and measure it. Now, you might notice here, it's a bit tricky to read. If that's the case, don't panic. Just get a ruler and extend your line like so, just to make it as accurate as you possibly can. And then just go back, exactly the same thing. And it's really easy to see that that's 60. So this here is 60. Then all you do is, because you want the whole thing, is just do 180 plus 60, I mean you could do this in your head, I'm just using a column addition to reinforce that method, uh, 6 out of 8, 14, so you get 240, the bearing for this one would be 240 degrees, okay? So, that's if you are measuring, let's have a look at how to draw. So here we go, here's two examples at the above here. So draw a bearing of 0, 7, 6. Notice again, it's three figures. So with this case, we start at north, as we always do, and we always start at 0. So again, outside, and I go clockwise. So 76, let's go round, 
there's 76, just put a little mark there, and just get a ruler, draw it on, and then probably a good idea just to label it, 076 degrees, okay? This one here, bearing of 300, so you could do 360, which is all the way around, take away 300, which give you 60, and measure 60, which is the bit you don't want. Again though, I'm gonna do it by drawing a south line, because I know that that's 180 degrees. What's left to get to 300? Well, it's 120 that's left. So from the south line, I need to go another 120. So again, line it up, zeros on there all the way around to 120, which is there. Put a little mark, grab your ruler, and line it up. So then this is 120, so in total, it's 300. It's entirely up to you if you wanna go and draw the south line, or you wanna work out what's missing. Both ways work fine. Now, what's more common in exams is something like this. Point C is on a bearing of 0.45 degrees from A and 209 degrees from B. Find point C. So let's break this up into the first bit. Point C is on a bearing of 0.45 degrees from A. There's this from business again. So from A, I need to measure out 45 degrees. So just like we did with the examples above, we start at north, 0, and I measure 45 I put a little mark there for 45. And just draw a nice big long line, like so. That is 0, 045. And the next bit, 290 degrees from B. So from B means I'm here. So I'm just going to draw my south line on, because I know that's 180. And then what's left to get to 290? Well, 110 is left. So again, I'm starting at zero, I'm going around 110 is there. So I put a little mark there. Line it up. So 110 plus 180 is 290. And where they meet is point C. Okay, so a bearing from A, bearing from B, where do they meet? That's where C is. So that's a very classic type of uh, bearing question where you're drawing it. So hopefully that helps guys. Uh, thanks for watching.